Windows 10 due for early release, Google Ads invading a TV near you, and the Titan X, it's already outdated. These are today's bits. Yes, Windows 10 news is in the air. Microsoft announced that rather than waiting till the fall of 2015, they're going to go ahead and release it this summer. To me, this is not much of a surprise, mainly because they have the pre-existing backbone of Windows 8 and they made the choice to allow anybody to test it as they were in development. Well, they basically opened up the floodgates for a bunch of free bug testers all over the world and it worked out beautifully. I've used Windows 10 Preview for quite some time and so far I can say that I really love it. I can't wait for the full release. It's everything that Windows 8 wanted to be, but just couldn't. Just think about this though, just for one second. Windows 98 was a great operating system. Windows ME, absolutely terrible. Windows XP, pretty awesome. Windows Vista, horrible. Windows 7, amazing. Windows 8, terrifying. Windows 10, so far so good. I'm not saying that there's a pattern here, but well, there is a pattern here. Aside from early release, Microsoft has shed up to 15 gigabytes of weight using file compression and handling recovery methods differently. Oh, and there's that whole thing about giving it away for free to all the pirates out there, which is kind of new. Google is testing out a new method to deliver heavily targeted ads right to your TV. For some Google Fiber customers in the Kansas City area, they get the pleasure of trying out this new feature of ads based off of their viewing history, <laughs> which is going to be hilarious. <laughs> Mom, Dillo commercial's on again. And you heard me right, folks. The brand spanking new Titan X is already outdated. NVIDIA is talking about their Pascal GPU that will offer 10 times the performance of the Titan X and support up to 8-way SLI. That's freaking eight graphics cards, each 10 times more powerful than the Titan X. I can't even afford one of them. Don't worry, though. Pascal isn't due out until 2016, so you have at least a year to enjoy your Titan. This actually reminds me a lot of the Osborne computer, the failed business practice that most tech companies today avoid at all cost. You see, back in 1981, Adam Osborne released the Osborne One computer, and it was an instant success. Bundled with almost $1,500 of free software, the Osborne One was considered the first truly portable full-feature computer. You see, Adam was so excited about his next generation of computers, a year after the Osborne One was released, he started talking about the up-and-coming executive model that had a bigger screen and twice as much RAM. Even worse, he talked about the one after that, that he was going to call the Vixen. Well, everybody started waiting for the, new, for the new computers and stopped buying the Osborne One. As you would guess, they promptly went out of business before they can even get the new ones into production. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't know about the new iPhone until a month before it's released. So if you like this video, please do me a favor and click the little like button below. And if you want to hear more in the future, make sure you subscribe.